Bitcoin stands alone. All the crypto, including Ethereum, I think it's all worthless. In my opinion on that, it's based on the fact that the monetary policies on everything except Bitcoin are set by people. Bitcoin is set by, you know, the network and the vote of all the nodes and, and all the people using it. Ethereum has changed its monetary policy seven times. Throw out all crypto, it's bad, it's fraudulent, and, and it's really hurt Bitcoin. And what FTX did is sad in terms of the way it scared people away from the one thing that's an important monetary development. So I've always said that I view this as, you know, gold is analog sound money and Bitcoin is digital sound money. Both sound money. The reason they're sound money is the stock to flow is very high. You know, the flows are low against the stock. And in the case of gold, you know, they're about the same right now. They add a little under 2% a year to the base amount that's out there. One of the things that's actually beautiful about Bitcoin in favor of Bitcoin over gold is that you know, Bitcoin could go to $2 million a coin. The supply is not going to change. Matt, it's just going to, you know, it's, if it's a commodity, which the SEC has said it is, it's the one commodity in the world where the, where the supply is not subject to higher prices.